What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to how to mod XML files. A lot of you guys asked me for the mods that I use and today I'm going to show you how to mod them. First up, we're going to start with combines and trailers and in a second part of the video, we're going to be doing stuff like mowers, sprayers, and balers. First up, we need to choose the mods that we're going to be editing. The combine that we're going to do is going to be the Agco Ideal by Aaron Modding. The trailer that we're going to do is by the uh, Wilson Pace Setter Super B by Stefan Baron of Custom Modding. This one right here, we're actually going to change this to a different thing altogether. So that's going to be a whole lot of fun. We've also got the John Deere 690. I've been needing a John Deere baler that does some crazy stuff for a while. So this is exactly what we're going to go with here. And... Our sprayers are going to be the Hardy Interactive Sprayers. The reason I've chosen these is because they could do some really neat stuff and they've got multiple different ways of unloading. So I figured that would be perfect. First things up, we need to download all these. Once we've got these downloaded, we're gonna take them and we are gonna drag them into my custom mod folder. This is a folder that I've got so that I can access everything nice and quickly. Don't worry, I'm gonna have all these mods down below so that you could do this at home, but you could do this with anything. Now what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to extract all of these mods. So there's the Agco Ideal that we're gonna go in and extract our hardy sprayers. We also need to extract the John Deere. What this is gonna do is gonna unzip it for us. There we go, and extract. Perfect, so we've got all those now up here. The first one we're gonna start on is the Agco Ideal. So let's click on it and let's check it out and see what we've got going on. So we see a bunch of different things here. A lot of this stuff we don't need to worry about. There's only a few things that we actually need to look at. So for example, we're gonna wanna mod the header. So we will need to do that. And we're gonna need to mod a few other things. So let's jump right in and start with the combine itself. Locate your ideal nine folder, or it may say something else if you're using a different combine altogether. What I'm gonna do is right click and edit with Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, I highly recommend that you get it. I will make sure that I leave links down below to everything. So first up, we're gonna take a look at a few things. Because this is gonna be a modded version and we're gonna be changing this up, I need to change a few things here. So it says in store data name ideal. What I wanna do is change that to ideal modded. That way I know I have modded this. Now we're gonna ignore top speeds and stuff like that. We're not gonna be doing anything with engine. This is all gonna be out uh, everything to do with capacity. So power is good, max speed is good. We're not going to mess with any of that. That way it's all where it needs to be. You could look down in base. This is kind of the basic stuff of your mod. Gives you your weight and that kind of thing. Again, we're not messing with any of that. Wheels are good. What we want is fill level. That's what we want. So we're going to go down, down, down until we find fill level. And that's going to be right here in the middle of your screen. We'll bring it to the top. So we see in here, fill units, fill type, category, combine, that's good. Capacity 17,100. We want to change this because, well, frankly, that's not enough. I'm going to change this to 100,000 liters. So 100,000. Perfect. Now I want to click to the right of that, and we are going to make sure that that 100,000 liter capacity isn't heavy because once you get a hundred thousand liters in there, it's gonna weigh this thing down quite a bit. So what we wanna do is do update mass. So the U in update is lowercase, the ilm in mass is uppercase. We're gonna do an equal sign. That's gonna give us that. Now I wanna do a quotation, false. And then end quotation, space. You don't have to put a space, but I always do. It's just out of habit. Now. It doesn't recognize that the capacity is heavy. Boom, that is good. So now this combine is gonna hold 100,000 liters. Next, we wanna go to unload or discharge. So that's usually gonna be a little bit farther down and here it is, dischargeables. It's gonna be this area right here. We'll bring that up to the top. Now it says empty speed 500. That's a little bit slow. 
Why don't we put an extra zero on that? There you go. Now it empties at 5,000 liters per second. It's still gonna take a little while to unload that 100,000 liter capacity, especially if it's full. So you could change that up if you wanna unload it immediately. So like boom, click right away, you know it's unloaded. You could change that to whatever your capacity is. So 100,000 liters or 100,000, and it's gonna empty in one second. Absolutely crazy. I love that, it's awesome. So now, that's it. That is all we need to do for the combines. I'm gonna go in here, we're gonna click save. If you don't click save, you are slam out of luck on that one. Well, what's next? Let's look at a couple headers. For headers, we've got the Dynaflex in here, and we also have the PowerFlow. We wanna locate the XML files for both of those. First up, let's take a look at the Dynaflex. Let's open that up with our Notepad++. Now in here again, we see Dynaflex 9255. We're just gonna put modded at the end of that. You can put whatever you want. You can put Dynaflex 9255, crazy mod. I love this, my favorite, exclamation point, exclamation point. Whatever you wanna do there. Now, speed limit value 10. What? No. So the speed limit for our combine is 40. So the only thing that we could do here really is, you know, make it the top speed. Now, of course, you could change up the engine and stuff like that, but we're going to talk about that in a different video. As far as speed limit goes here, we're going to put that at 40 as well. So now this header will go as fast as our combine will. Legit, that's the only thing that we need to do there. We're going to go down here to the power flow and we're legit going to do the exact same thing. Power flow modded. Boom, right there. We're going to go down here to speed limit. We're going to change that to 40. And now we are good to go. Don't worry about changing anything else in here. All of that is good. Always save when you're done. Now, the only thing in here that we don't need to change is the Laguan 60. Did I change the uh, title of this right here? I hope I did. Yep, power flow modded. All right, cool. Yeah, we're good. We don't need to change this because this is the combines uh header trailer we don't need to open that with notepad we need to open that with notepad plus plus so in here there's really nothing that we need to change as a matter of fact we don't even need this mod if we have the original one installed i always highly recommend that you guys when you're editing you need to go in and you need to use a custom mod don't override mods that are already in you need to create a brand new mod that way when you're playing with your friends you don't have to do anything wild and crazy it's all good so that one's fine. We don't need to mess with that. Let's go into mod description and let's just take a look and see what we've got going on. So the author is Aaron Modding. All we did was change a few things, which doesn't really mean that we're the author. We just made it go faster. So I'm not going to change that out of respect for the modder. We're going to go down in here into title and I'm just going to put modded just like that. Nice and easy. If you want to change the description to say, I did this and it is so cool and I'm so happy that it is here. You can do that. Totally fine. Don't change anything else. You're good to go there. Save that up just so you know. Agco Ideal modded. And then we're going to go through. We're going to select everything. And then we're going to do send to compressed zipped folder. Now we go in and we could change this to whatever we want. So I look over there and I see the other one was just FS19. Uh, or yeah, FS19, Agco Ideal, and that's it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do very similar to that. FS19 underscore Agco, if I can spell here, Agco Ideal modded. Now, that's done. What I could do is I can go in here, I can copy, we could jump out, we could paste that into our main folder, and then we could just drag that into mods, and then I could drag that into custom mods and then we're done with that we can go ahead and delete this and we can delete the main folder for it there you go that is your combine it's literally that easy to get something crazy going on with that so now we've done that what's next let's do the wilson super b so let's click in here and we're gonna see a couple different things we see pace setter a and pace setter b so let's go in and let's take a look. We also have Pace Setter Super B in here. So let's just take a look into Pace Setter Super B. Edit with Notepad++. Capacity unit, 60,000 liter capacity. Well, 
I don't know about you, but that seems just a little bit low for me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. And of course, these are specs to begin with, so you don't have to worry too much about that. We're gonna change this to one million liters, something like that. I think that would be good. We're gonna save this. Pace setter super B modded. Now, normally when I do something crazy, I'll call it the ultimate, but when it's just, I mean, it's a million liters, it's not too wild. You say that's not too crazy. So now let's go down through here and let's check a few things out. Base material, da 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 da, showing everything. Everything is looking pretty good. There's really nothing else we need to do in here. So now, file, save. You guys cool with that? I'm cool with that. Boom, let's click out of there. We need to go into the pace setter A and B because we need to change some things up. These are gonna be the two different uh, trailers that you've got. So, of course, we're going to go in here. Price, you could change that if you want. I'm not going to be changing the price because I think the price is good. I try not to change the price too much. On the ultimate versions that I make, those are all zero dollars because who wants to spend money? Now, Pace Setter Super B modded. We've got that in. As you know, when you buy this, you actually get two different pieces of equipment. So you buy one piece, but you're actually getting two different pieces. So there is that. Keep that in mind. Now, just like before, we need to go in and we need to find fill units. You see where it says auger wagon right here? I don't want that to say auger wagon anymore. I want that to say bulk. Because guess what? Auger wagon will only let you do certain things. If you type in bulk, that's gonna let you do a bunch of things. That's gonna let you do everything that a normal trailer would do in a, uh, a gravity bin, gravity wagon type of thing. Capacity. Since we changed the other to 1 million, that was our overall, we're gonna do 500,000 in the front and 500,000 in the back. There we go, there's that. We do wanna make sure that this doesn't weigh anything, so update, ooh, don't wanna put that. Update mass equals false. That way, it's not too heavy. Then we go down and we're gonna find our dischargeable empty speed. I always like 5,000. It's fast, but it's not crazy. So there you go. That's it. Save. That is our pace setter A. Now we want to go down into pace setter B and we're going to do the exact same thing here. Uh, fill unit capacity. Duh, 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 duh. Change this up. Actually, I don't think I changed that in the other one. So we'll have to double check there. Pace setter 36 inch. Mudded. There you go. Yep, we do need to go back and change that in the other one. I don't believe that I did that. Again, fill units, auger wagon, no such thing. We want to change that to bulk. Again, if you're only doing one trailer, you only have to do this stuff once. And if you go into fill type categories, if it says auger wagon, change it to bulk. You'll be just fine there. 500,000 liters there. We're going to go down into dischargeables. We're going to change this up again to 5,000. And we're good. Did I change the updated mass? I did not. That's going to be a heavy trailer, isn't it? Update mass equals, this is the biggest thing right here that I see people messing up. Boom, update mass, false, file, save. Now, because we're using this, I can go up in here and yep, yeah, it did not change it. So we do need to change that. Perfect. Hey, not too bad. There we go. Now, what I need to do is we need to go into our mod description. We're gonna edit with Notepad++. Title, Wilson Pace Setter Super B, modded, and that is it. Save, done, that mod is ready to go. So let's send that to a folder. I see that it's FS19 Wilson Super B, so we're gonna do FS19 underscore Wilson underscore Su no, super B. Super B modded. Perfect. Again, copy it to a bunch of different places. Make sure that you keep copies of everything. So paste that in. We're going to grab that, drag it into our mods folder, drag it into our custom mods folder, and then delete these guys right here. Perfect. That's all we're going to focus on today is the combine and the trailer. Now, if you're having trouble finding your mods folder, maybe you don't know where that is. What you want to do is go to this PC. You want to go to my documents, my games, farming simulator 19. And right here it is 
It's going to be in mods. That's going to be every mod that you have installed, and that's where you're going to drag them. I use mods so much that I've actually pinned it in here so that I can just click and drag. Now that I know that these are in the Agco Ideal modded and the Wilson Super B modded, now we're going to jump in into the game. We're gonna make sure all the things are in there. Now that we're in, let's go in our mods folder and just do, do a double check just to make sure everything came in okay. Um, because I have so many mods installed, this might take a minute. I think I've got a bunch of them in here. There we go, Agco Ideal modded and Wilson Pace Setter Super B modded. Perfect, awesome. Let's jump in into the game and let's see how they're looking. As always, double check and make sure that you've got them turned on. There we go, there's the Agco Ideal. Let's go all the way down to the bottom and find our Wilson, which should be somewhere around here. There it is, Wilson Pace Setter Super B modded. Click on that, start it up. Now that we're in the game, we should have everything that we need. Let's go into Harvesters and let's see if we can find ourselves an Ideal modded. And here it is right there, 100 thousand liters oh yeah now it is good main color we can change this whatever we want I tell you what i do like a good challenger so we are going to do a challenger with black wheels i think it's gonna look great oh man it looks good and let's go in here michelin yeah let's do that challenger ideal 9t there you go we've got some engine power there as well again 100 thousand liters let's lease that i do know that the track or the wheeled versions decide to get up and jump around a little bit so hopefully we won't have that problem and then let's go in here and let's see if we can find these so here's the two that are installed with the normal mod and here are the other two you can see everything is exactly the same with the exception of the speed 24 miles per hour on both of these I think we're gonna go with the 9255 modded right here, the Dynaflex main color since we've got the Challenger. Look at that. And because we used a mod that's already there, we've still got all of our customization options. So we don't have to worry about those. So we've got that. Now, to do a little bit of carding, maybe we should use some Wilson. So we're gonna do that. Let's go through and let's find these guys. Uh, as I say in my mod description stuff, it's going to be found in tools and trailers. And here it is, the Pace Setter Super B modded. <laughs> I also used this, uh, what, a couple, uh, couple episodes ago? I did the exact same thing with this trailer on, uh, oh gosh, I can't even remember where it's from. But here we go. This is the one that we've done. You see, well, there's really not a whole lot going on because, well, because it's a little different. You can see down there, we do have a 1 million liter capacity. So let's change this up. Let's make this thing look really cool. Let's go chrome wheels all out. Let's go with a black main color. A design, uh, you know what, just for the fun of it. Let's go with it. Oh no, we're using Challenger, aren't we? Yo, Challenger yellow. There you go. Now we've got that leased. We do need to get a truck as well. So let's go and pick ourselves up a truck. I would say this is a very good looking pair together. Let's get the combine unfolded. Let's put it over here. Now again, because we didn't change a whole lot, only the capacity, this should rock and roll pretty darn fast. Let's get it lined up nice and easy so it's not all over the place. And our worker, you can see it's going up. It's picking it up fast. Straw's going down, and we are driving 24 miles per hour. Also, because we've got 100,000 liter capacity, you can see down there at 3,000 liters, we are at a 3% capacity. It works perfect. It does exactly what you would want it to do, and that is so cool. It's that easy. If you guys are on PC, to change this up and make it do what you want. Maybe you could go as crazy as you want as well. Again, this doesn't change your width. It doesn't change your, your overall top speed or increase horsepower. Pretty much everything in the game's got plenty of power to do what it needs to do, so I don't mess with that normally. But this works pretty darn well. As far as this trailer is concerned, normally this only holds primary crops. Well, I'm gonna show you that we Changing this up, make it work real well. You can see pig food, manure. We shouldn't be able to put manure in here. But looky there, we've got manure going in. And not only that, it's gonna hold half a million 
leaders of the stuff. That's nasty, but it works. So you can see that's working just fine. Now, if we go into the back and we pull forward a little bit more, what are some other stuff that you wouldn't expect us to be able to put in here? How's about some wood chips? That doesn't make any sense, does it? But guess what? It's going in and you can see the only thing and a lot of people do complain about this and I kind of agree with you is that if it's got a hundred thousand liters in there even like 50,000 liters I would like to see it go up more but it goes by percentage and percentage only so this is only a couple percent so it's only taking up a little bit of the trailer another great thing about this is you could just buy a bunch of these front parts and leave this back part behind of course you'll need to sell them or you could take them out of the mod completely and just have it be the front part. But you can use this to your advantage. Use both of these mods to your advantage. I highly recommend it. Look at that, 25,000 liters in there at 25%. And the worker is doing just fine. The worker's doing a great job. I love modding stuff like this. I love being able to do this. It's so much fun and I have a ball doing it. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, and join the Goham fam. Turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a video here on the channel or a help video just like this one is. Again, I hope this has helped you out and I hope this kind of makes things a little bit easier for you. I'm not able to send a lot of the mods out. A lot of you guys ask for those. I can't send them out because they're all mods like this where the modder gets credit for that download. I can't take that away from them, but you can go download it and change it up for yourself. So that I highly recommend. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great day. Make sure you join us tomorrow for part two of this series where we're going to be doing mo er, mowers, we're doing balers, and we're going to be doing sprayers. But that being said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.